Hi guys, so you've got yourself a Garmin and it's got a heart rate monitor. But is this set up properly? Let's show you how. Okay, so I've just gone into my Garmin Connect on the computer and I've pulled up a recent track session that I did. And we'll take a quick look at the sort of stats that you can get regarding your heart rate from your Garmin device. It tells me here that I had an average heart rate of 167 beats a minute and my maximum got up to 195 beats a minute. Now that information is fine, it's great, but we can actually dive in a bit deeper and if you go time in zones here, you can actually see how much time you spent within each of these zones, zones one, two, three, four, and five, as you worked up through that range. I'm not gonna go into the benefits of all the different ranges in this video, keep that for another video, but now what I'm gonna show you is that these zones, they can give you some good information, but only if you've got them set up correctly for your level of fitness and your level of, of cardio fitness. And I'm gonna walk you through how to do that today. So how do we set it up? In Garmin Connect, if you go up to the top right hand corner here to the watch symbol, it says devices and sync status. I click on that and then go to device settings. It brings up a new page. There it is. And then if we go to user settings, scroll down and there we have our zones one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So we need to get the right information to put in there to get all this information set up correctly. So to do that, there are various calculators you can find online, but the one that I use is this one here called heartmonitors.com. I'll stick the link for this exact calculator in the um, video description down below, but I'll show you quickly now how to use it. It's quite straightforward. I'm gonna put my age in firstly, 48, and my rest and heart rate, I know that from my watch, which records, because I leave it on my wrist overnight. So I know that I have a rest and heart rate of 45. The, the maximum heart rate um, I know is around about 197 at present. Okay, so I'm setting this up for running and I'm a male. So I now hit calculate and boom, there's all my numbers right there. So if I make a quick note of these, 105, 124, 124, 142, 142, 160, 160 to 178 and 178 to 197. Good. So I've got them. So I'm gonna go back into Garmin Connect and come back over to this table here. So. I like to work from the top down because it just it sometimes it trips over its own figures when you put them in. It's a bit simpler to do it this way. So 197 be my maximum, which I've got. So 178 is the start of zone five. So I'll change that to 178. And the previous one to that is 160 to 178. So I'll stick a 160 in there. Previous zone to that was 142 to 160. So I'll stick in a 142 there. It's just tweaked that there, but that's fine. Just let it get on with that. 124 to 142 is this zone here. And finally, 105 to 124 is the first zone there. So there, there you go. So that's the numbers that we got from our calculator over here. I'll put them straight in there. I'll hit save. And it comes up with this. Change is saved. Please sync your device now. So in other words, when I go into my phone and I go into the Garmin Connect app and I sync it with my watch, all those numbers will then be squared into my watch and we're ready to go. Okay, so that's how you set up your heart rate zones for your Garmin. Give it a try. If you've got any questions about this, please leave them in the comments below. Um, if you found this to be of interest, please like the video and hit the share with any of your running friends who have a Garmin and perhaps you think they don't have their heart rate zone set up correctly. I'll be doing a lot more videos such as this, so uh, please hit the subscribe button. And, um, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.